The Rochester City Council is expected to vote tonight on a more than quarter million dollar grant to fight terrorism. The controversial plan includes new technology for the Rochester Police Department, but some local organizations say it gives police too much power and with little oversight. News 8's Alex Love spoke to these groups and reports their concerns. The local ACLU chapter and Working Families Party of Rochester co-signed a letter with 13 other organizations calling on City Council to vote against this legislation due to it giving Rochester police license plate readers. Fearing RPD will abuse this technology against ordinary people, especially those in minority communities or undocumented immigrants who drive around the city. The grant from the State Division of Homeland Security totals $252,400, meant for purchasing numerous equipment, including cameras used as fixed license plate readers to be used in investigations or suspect identification. Those with the NYCLU and Working Families Party disagree it's necessary without external oversight of how the system is used and who gets access to it. Also wanting this money spent in other directions they see fit to better the city. How are they going to pick and choose who is being tracked? Um, I think in particular of our undocumented community and our refugee community retain the right to obtain license, uh, licenses to drive. We don't believe that additional funding is actually going to increase safety. Um, and so I think this is an opportunity right now for us to start saying we need to see community and investment in community-based services for the people who have been harmed um, by these practices. If approved, the funding for this technology and the practices will be in place until September of 2024. The City Council is expected to vote on this legislation at tonight's meeting starting at 6.30. Reporting in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Other equipment this grant allocates for includes an inflatable boat, disabling equipment for the bomb squad, night vision equipment, and a robot for the SWAT team. We reached out to the Rochester police numerous times for comment but have not yet heard back.